Okay, one last example of these messy exponent rules. Um, here, really a lot of the expressions we've been working with have division of pieces with exponents, but this gives us even more division. Um, so lots of multiplying by the reciprocal that's going to happen. So you might only get this one one way because it's going to be kind of a long one. Um, I think that I'm going to choose this time to get rid of a bunch of parentheses first because that really seems like it's going to make things a lot messier if I don't. So I'm not going to go straight to negative exponents. I'm first going to go to um, applying these exponents to everything in the parentheses. Again, be really, 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 really clear that this only works because everything inside the parentheses is attached by multiplication or division. If there's any addition, this completely fails. Okay, so we're going to raise negative two to the fourth power first. And because that negative is inside the parentheses, it's really part of this. So we do get positive 16. Um, a to the negative one to the fourth is the same as a to the negative four. So multiply exponents, b to the seven, negative two, a to the negative three, b to the fourth. Okay, so this time I'm gonna run it through uh, all of these, these uh, individual factors. So first negative six to the negative third, and I'm not going to figure that out till I figured out what to do with that negative. A squared to the negative third. Remember, you multiply. So it's A to the negative six. And then B to the negative third. A cubed to the negative third would be A to the negative nine. And B to the negative four to the negative third would be B to the positive 12. So I do end up with some things turning out positive in that second fraction. Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of regroup. In this first fraction, um, the 16 and the b to the 7 are fine, but a to the negative 4 is the same as 1 over a to the 4. So this is going to be over a to the 4. On the bottom, the negative two and the b to the fourth are fine. a to the negative three is the same as one over a cubed. So we're gonna get over a, a cubed. And that's gonna be divided by, ooh, everything has negative exponents in that first piece. So it's all gonna be one over negative six the third, a to the sixth, b to the third. And then that doesn't even look like a six. six. Okay. On the bottom, b to the twelfth is fine, but the a to the negative nine is the same as one over a to the nine. It's like a to the a, but it really is an a to the ninth. Okay. So we have other choices, but I think I'm going to keep working on the, the individual fractions split up at the division sign. So I'm going to say this is the same as 16b to the 7 divided by a to the 4 multiplied by a cubed over negative 2b to the 4. And then that's going to get divided by uh, 1 over, I'm going to go ahead and figure that. So what do we get? 36 times 6, I think, is 216. And it's really uh, 36 times negative 6, so it's negative a to the sixth, b to the third, times a to the nine over b to the twelfth. Okay, I am actually closing in, believe it or not. I'm going to go ahead and do some canceling. I'm going to use a different color to mark this off. So in this first multiplication, 
and I should probably be a little bit careful here. I didn't write this very nicely, but it really is all of that first thing divided by all of that second thing. Um, so I don't want to mess up my order of operations there. Fraction bars are grouping symbols, so everything in there is grouped together. Okay, so I see a cubed in the top, and I can cancel all but one of those a's in the bottom with that. I see b to the fourth. If I take four of the b's from the top, I'll only have three left. And then I see that 16 divided by two leaves me with eight over one. So that's gonna turn into, I'm gonna have to work across for this one and get to the bottom, uh, 8b cubed b cubed over a, and then that's going to be divided by, let's see what we've got on this side. So we have six a's to cancel, which will leave us three on the top. And then when we multiply those b's together, we get three b's multiplied by another 12 b's, that's 15 b's. So I'm seeing over here a cubed over negative 2, 16, b to the 15. Okay, really close. Now I'm finally ready to deal with that big division times the reciprocal, negative 2, 16, b to the 5th um, over a cubed. So avoid the temptation in this step right here to uh, cancel a's or b's. Notice that when we do this correctly, when we divide, it actually flips over. So I'm gonna end up not getting any canceling out of that. I don't know if I know what eight times negative 216 is, so I'm gonna be lazy. Negative eight times 216. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and combine b cubed times b to the fifth is b to the eighth, and a times a cubed is a to the fourth. So uh, if you have a calculator handy, figure out what 8 times 216 is. I'm going to be lazy and leave it. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to tackle some of the really messy ones. So try and just take it one step at a time. <coughs> and if in doubt about whether you could just shove things to the top of bottom of fraction bars, just make sure that you'd go with the one over. It's always fair to say that b to the negative 4 is the same as 1 over b to the 4 or whatever it is. All right. Thanks for watching.